Hey guys, welcome back. This is Good Guides and Greg, and uh, we're back playing some The Last of Us. Let's get things started. So, last time I told you about my exciting origin of getting into anime and then into Japan itself. Today I'll tell you a couple of the neato things that I did in my first year. So my first year was actually, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, did, did you want to go first? I mean, there, go, go ahead, or you can just stand in front of it and look at me. That's fine too. I was going to let you go first. So, I when I first moved here, we had to stay at um, a little business hotel for like, I think like a month while we waited for our apartments and everything to get set up. So we didn't get here and then immediately move into our places. We had to stay at the hotel and go through a bit of training. Like we did training in Tokyo and I got to visit a few shrines and places. I went to my first uh, pub or isekaya and uh, had my first experience drinking with the locals. Me and, me and uh, my new friends from uh, starting Interact and we had a really good time, you know. We, I got to see the whole, you know, Japanese drunk businessman kind of thing. They are a lot of fun to drink with, especially like older guys. They want to talk to you and know more about your culture and ask you where you're from and all that fun stuff. And uh, I tried. Uh, like I watched a, uh, before I came over, I watched a lot of different Japan-based YouTubers. I mean, I still do, of course, but uh, I watched uh, Abroad in Japan. Some of you may know him. And uh, I started to like, pay attention to all the different foods that he tried. And so one was raw horse. So yeah, they, they actually have horse here and you can eat it raw. You know, basically horse sashimi. And I decided I wanted to try it. And I really enjoyed it. I have eaten horse on numerous occasions. And if like a restaurant has it, I will order it. It's actually pretty good. And I also tried, uh, it's like, uh, like f I forget the name for it, but it's basically fried chicken cartilage. So like when I lived in America, few of my friends like one of my friends Nigel he he's one of those people that would like eat every part of the chicken wing or like the chicken that he was eating including the you know the cartilage and I was just like dude just grab another piece of chicken it's not that serious but over here it's you know it's something you order like specifically just the cartilage So, I, uh, let me see, uh, okay, he's over there, I need you to go downstairs, so that I can silently kill your friend, oh, come on, man, of course you're gonna come up here, like a wiener.
but um okay should be good I won't. I won't kill you. I won't kill you. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna come back here and I'm totally gonna freaking kill you. <laughs> nah, he's sleeping. He, he's just sleeping. He's tuckered out. Oh, this guy. He's on watch. He must be tired too. Sleepy sleeps. Sleepy sleeps. Alright, where's the last guy? Is he coming upstairs yet? Uh, doesn't look like it. I can hear through the floor. My sweet daredevil powers. Sorry. So, like when I came here and I finally tried fried chicken cartilage it was you know a lot better than I expected like of course the first time I tried I was just like uh, it's not bad but I could be eating you know meat <laughs> but after you try it a few times you start to enjoy the you know the crunchy chewy texture of it and so you know whenever I can I order that but one thing that I really love and I buy all the time and I finally, like this year, I finally went to like a full-on restaurant for is cow tongue, gyutan. And I don't know if you've ever had cow tongue, like a, an ex-girlfriend of mine had me uh, try tongue tacos she her and her family are mexican and they they thought they were like pulling a fast one on me and they're like haha try this taco and i'm like oh it's really good do you want to know what it is i'm like sure it's like it's tongue and i'm like oh okay cool could you order some more it's like sorry i'm, I'm not one of those people that like freak out to what something is i eat pretty much anything so after I tried tongue for the first time, I'm like, all right, well, this is going to be a part of my normal rotation of things that I want to want to eat. So when I came here, I like I, I already saw videos on cow tongue and I'm like, all right, well, let me see what uh, Japanese cow tongue is like, how it's different. And it's prepared in such a way that it's basically kind of like just thin cut pieces of steak. Oh, for the most part. Really, really good. Tender. Well seasoned. Just fantastic. Japanese cow tongue is probably like my favorite thing to eat out here. So, those are some of the things that I tried during my training uh, in Tokyo. And then when I finally got my house, I talked to Ellie. the guy who I was well, taking over the town that I live in, Kuzumaki. It's up it's north in Iwate. A and, uh, meet you at the building. like, after my training down in, exactly in I was about to say Florida, in, you know, Florida, you Japan, in uh, Tokyo, we Double went to Iwate. We had to stay Speaking in a hotel here, our too, back in our camp. and still do more training. And then finally Not they got my house ready. I was like one of the last people that they got the house ready. And so they had to drive me out here because there's no train that goes to my house. And uh, it would have been, you know, this is my first time in Japan. I don't know any Japanese, by the way, because, you know, I had a girlfriend when I was supposed to be having an education. And I went ahead and oh so they had to transport me out there so my boss drove me all the way out here and like as we pass towns I'm like okay this doesn't seem so bad oh we're we're passing this town oh 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 this town doesn't seem so, oh this 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 isn't it either we just keep going further and 
further into these woods. Don't take oh, this town's really small. You this, stay close. I mean, it looks nice though, Let's but go. oh, that that wasn't it either. And we just kept going and going, <laughs> and eventually we hit Kuzumaki, a town with a population of about six thousand people, mostly elderly people. So that it's very small, not a lot, you know. There's a few isekaias, a few pubs, Little like a couple of restaurants, but nothing. You know, it's not party central. And as a single guy, it's not really a place to be looking for your wife. It's mostly just, you know, a really, really chill place, though. Really gorgeous, you know. I live in the mountains. Sucks for internet. But, uh, and if you're big on fast food... It's an hour and a half drive to the nearest McDo uh, McDonald's and shopping mall and movie theater and pretty much anything else. But we do have two convenience stores. So, living large. Down here. But the, uh, so I, I they, they took me to my house and there's nothing here. Keep up. They're like, uh, you, we, we can't really give you too too much of anything. So, uh, like, they gave me, like, a thing of toilet paper, but I had to buy everything. So, TV, bed, stove, refrigerator, all that. I had to, I had to buy it myself. And, uh, it was expensive. It's one of the reasons why they tell you ahead of time, make sure you have a few... Thousand dollars with you when you come. Still paying that off. Fun times, but it's almost gone, luckily. Um. Ooh. I found a thing. I didn't pay attention to where I need to take it though. Oh, okay, I did. Yeah, I did. I did it. Look at the big brain on Greg. You coming? You gonna? Is this the wrong place? Just gonna watch me? I mean, it's fine. I don't care. I'm having fun. Look at me climb. Wee! Do you need help? You're tiny. Oh wow! Some mad vertical. All right. Sorry. Yep. Strong, independent woman don't need no man. No, that's her first. What's the deal with you and Marlene? So, yeah, and uh, the guy that uh, I took the house over from, he warned me ahead of time. He's like, make sure you don't take too many things in the into the toilet with you, because you don't have a traditional toilet. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? And he's like, well. You know how toilets have plumbing? Well, you don't have that. <laughs> you have like a seven foot drop into a hole and you have to call this thing called the honey wagon and they will come and, you know, suck out all the sewage whenever it starts getting too full and starts stinking up the place. So, yeah. And, uh... The like the house is a fairly old house, so the toilet itself isn't even like a sit down toilet. They put a like a seat cover on it so that it's more like a like a Western style toilet. But if you take the cover off, it's a squat toilet, and so it's like a slightly raised part, and you go stand on that and you squat and use the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, that's my toilet situation. And what are you doing? Uh, so yeah, like every like month and a half to two months, I gotta call somebody to suck the crap out of my toilet. 
because it doesn't have and I have like a bucket in there so splash water oh, down there when it starts getting a little full but yeah this is my home and it has no air conditioning and no heating the walls are thin as paper but I have a really big kitchen and I have I'm like one of the only people with and upstairs with two bedrooms that I don't use because it has no protection from the elements and a lot of spiders and bugs like to go in there so I stay in the living room I stay all on the first floor that's where everything is uh, I've got and in Japan the toilet and the actual bath as in bathing room are separated so I have like a bathtub room and I've got the toilet room and I've got my living room. And that's my house. So in my first couple of weeks here, I would go for walks because it was like springtime. So I went for a few walks around town to check the place out. Uh, the guy, Johnny, the previous teacher told me he's like hey if you want a good place that has good steak and you know good food in general head to uh, Mimore and he gave me instructions and I was bad at following said instructions but I eventually found it and so I try to eat there and of course remember no Japanese so they're trying to tell me something and I don't understand any of it and I, I'm kind of grasping that I can't eat there but they're trying to like tell me something else and so someone inside comes out and he speaks a little bit of English and so he's like oh you're uh, you're Gregory sensei and I'm like uh, yeah that's it doesn't dawn on me yet that, of course, everyone in the town knows who I am. I'm the only foreigner that lives here. <laughs> so, of course, you know, I'm not only the only black guy in town, but I'm the only, you know, non-Japanese person that lives there. Well, not now. There's uh, actually a Filipino family and one Australian and his kids are, of course, half Australian, half Japanese. But... Um, I don't think they live here yet, though. The, the Filipino family lives here now. But I'll tell you about that some other time. Um, so I'm the only foreigner that lives here, so of course the whole town knows who I am. But they, um, they're trying to tell me something, and so I go ahead and... I'm like getting ready to leave because I feel like I'm causing like an issue so I the, the guys the the guy comes out and he asked me for my like boss's phone number and I'm like oh crap now I'm in trouble now I'm in trouble I'm like harassing people I'm gonna get fired it's my like first week here I'm like freaking out but he like he like calls my supervisor and they're like oh yeah they were just trying to tell you that it's that they're having a party like it, they're, they're teachers from one of your schools but and they're having like a, a party but they want you to join so I'm like oh wow really they're like yeah they, they want you you know since you're the new teacher they, they want you to join the party it's like oh wow that's really nice of them so they in he's like well go have fun you know have, have 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 a blast so I go to the party and I hang out and I have some drinks with the teachers and they're all really really nice and funny and they make fun of me because I don't know Japanese and like the principal surprisingly enough knows a good amount of Japanese and he's giving me crap <laughs> for not speaking Japanese yet even though I wanted to come to the country but I have a, a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. So I, uh, like while I'm, so that's like one, you know, story. And then like another thing was, I would 
Look the other way. Drive to uh, Shut up. Morioka, the next, like the closest big, like city, What's ETA? and hang out with my friends and. Uh, oh, oh, oh no! Oh, don't shoot me with my own Fuck. gun. I thought we were just gonna hold him up or something. No, no. Here, shit. Held him up with bullets. Jesus Christ. Marlene set us up? Why the hell are we smuggling an infected girl? I'm not infected. No? Just lying. I can explain. You better explain fast. Look at this. I don't care how you got infected. It's three weeks old. You no, know, everyone turns within two days, so you stop bullshitting. It's three weeks. I swear. Why would she set you up? Sorry. I was I'm drawn into the in, I'm drawn into the world in the storytelling. So, um, like, I'm trying to think of another fun, like, situation that I was in, in my first, uh, oh, I can tell you about how I, like, I have to, uh, basically give an in a small introduction to myself at every school, so... This is around the time when I learned how many schools I actually have. And I was surprised to find out that out of all the teachers in Morioka Branch, I have the most schools. So I have a very interesting situation with my job. Not only do I like live the farthest away from anything. Ellie, it's gonna be another I spring. also sure. yeah. have the most yeah, schools. So most most people have like seven schools, like one for each day, or like they might have doubles for a day. Right I have every Monday in the morning. I go to one of now four different kindergartens and then in the afternoon I go to one of my I go to uh, Ekari Shogako or Ekari Elementary School and then I also go to uh, on Tuesdays I go to Kuzumaki Shogako or Kuzumaki Elementary School. And then on Wednesday, where's the light at? So I'm gonna go out there and then this guy's gonna like, oh man, you know what's fun? Flashlights. Flashing lights. So far, so good. I am the stealthiest man alive. So yeah, long story short, I don't I don't really need to go through all my schools, but each day, like Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday, I go to two school, like two different schools. Well, Thursday, I go to one school. But basically, I go to like two schools a day. Now, since I've been here, each year a different uh, school has closed because, like I said, it's a very tiny town. So if nobody's having kids in a certain area, then that area kind of closes up shop and the kids get transferred to you know a new area but my first year all I had all my schools so 
the way that they do things here is you go to each school, you introduce yourself, you give like a small introduction. And of course I had I had to do the whole thing in Japanese, so I had to like memorize uh like a small Japanese presentation, you know. Hello, konnichiwa. Nice to meet you. Hajime mashite. My name is Gregory Bay. Bay Gregory Tomoshimas. You know. Thank you for having me. Yoroshiku onegaishimas. Or please take care of me. Yoroshiku onegaishimas. Uh, you know. My hobby is cooking. Watashi no shumi wa ryori desu. So. It took me forever to memorize it because. I, I don't know. I'm just bad at memorizing stuff. So I had to go around and fumble my way through my introduction like 14 times. <laughs> and one of the places I had to go was the police the police uh, department. That was weird for me. <laughs> For, you know, reasons that will go, you know, untalked about. But yeah, I had to introduce myself to the police department. So that they're not like, oh man, you just random foreigner walking around. <laughs> go down, jeez. You wiener. Kick his ass, see. Oh, you, did, you, did you decide to stop kicking his ass? Joel, fighting everybody. Everybody could get some. You get the hands. Boom! Yeah. That was, ve that, that went poorly. I had to physically fight everybody who had guns. <laughs> Man, that was tense. But, all right, so I had to, f yeah, I had to fumble my way through telling everybody who I was. I messed up quite a few times. But yeah, you have to tell, you have to give the speech at each school at the town hall, in front of the board of education, to the police, a couple people's homes, like the like I had to go to like a couple of like important towns people. It was it was crazy, so that was really weird for me to have to like just go to everyone and like I introduced myself to like the different store owners around town so that they so that they knew me so yeah that was that was a lot of craziness that I had to do but uh you know what I think that's that's a good place to stop I think that's that's enough good story for right now um I hope you guys enjoyed my beginning years in Japan uh, and I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later. All right. Take care out there. Laters.